Hello. I'm here to give an update for my first week of marathon training. And uh, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and get into it. So a couple stats for this week. Um, I logged a total of 15 miles and my longest long run. <laughs> my longest run was five miles. And um, yeah, so this week went pretty well. Um, I did get sick at the end of the week and I'm still a little bit sick right now. So I didn't stick exactly to the plan, but I still completed all the miles that I was supposed to. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, a couple things that went well this week, I think, were going to bed early. Um, I was able to make it into bed around 10 o'clock each night. Um, and then another thing I think I was pretty good about was um, making my lunch at home the night before work to make sure that I wouldn't like go out to eat or eat something really unhealthy. Um, things that didn't go well, um, I did get a blister, which is unusual. I've never gotten a blister from these shoes, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my socks. Another thing was I had kind of a stressful week at work, so I um, I ended up snacking a lot at work to kind of... Snacking helps me focus, um, and I should just snack on carrots or something, but I did two days this week I ate Costco muffins, which I probably shouldn't be eating because they just make me feel sick, and yeah, but they're delicious too, so I don't know. I don't know if it's all bad. They were pretty tasty. So um, since this is just the first week, I thought I would talk about my actual routine so maybe you can understand what the heck is going on in the videos. So I usually wake up pretty early in the morning. If it's a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, I'll get up around 5.30 um, because I do a spin class with a friend at 6 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then after my spin class those days, I'll do my workout, which is either a run or a cross training workout. And then on Tuesday or Thursday, it just depends on my um, training schedule, usually either a run or a cross training workout. I probably get up around 6.30 and make it to the gym by 7 or so. So this week I wasn't able to do my Friday workouts since I was pretty much up all night, really, really, really sick on Thursday night, So, and most of Friday too. Um, so I wasn't able to make it to my run that day, but I, I made it up on Saturday. Um, and I, I'm still a little sick, so maybe it wasn't a great idea to run, but I was feeling well enough and I didn't push it too hard, so I don't know, I think it's probably okay. Oh, um, supplements. So I take whey protein powder, um, and I like that because it's really easy to take with me to the gym in the morning and I just drink it after and it, um, it kind of fills me up before I can eat real breakfast and gets in that extra bit of protein. And then other supplements, I take a pre-workout sometimes, um, <coughs> excuse me, which is basically just caffeine powder that you mix into water. It's really good, um, but I don't take that every day because I don't want to get like dependent on it. I'll mix up a water bottle of that before I go to sleep and I'll put it by my nightstand and then in the morning my alarm will go off at like 5 and I'll just like chug it and then go back to sleep and then it'll just wake me up on, on its own. And that kind of just like helps me get going. Like it just depends though. I don't do it every day. And then another supplement I like is um, BCAAs which stands for branch chain amino acids which sounds all fancy, but really it's just like components of proteins. Some people, including myself, have can have a hard time working out when you're like hungry and empty. And since I work out so early in the morning, I usually don't eat before. Um, it's just so early to eat. I take those before I work out most of the time. Um, and I like it. I don't know, I don't notice a huge difference, but I think it does help with recovery and it helps me not feel so empty when I'm working out. Not in like a hunger sense, but in like an energy sense. And yeah, so those are my supplements and that's that weird like red liquid that I'm showing in the video. As for food, I again try to make my food before I go to work the next day. Um, and it's usually a salad or a sandwich or a pasta dish or just whatever I have, some leftovers from dinner. And then I really like snacking on yogurt. Yogurt's like my favorite snack. I'll, I'll either like stir in protein powder to it to sweeten it 
and then put muesli and berries on it. That's really good. Or um, another thing I really like is if you um, blend up an apple or you can even grate it um, with like a cheese grater and you mix it in with the yogurt. And this is just plain Greek yogurt, by the way. And, um, and then you add some cinnamon to it. It's really good. That's like my favorite snack. Um, so yogurt, I like um, carrots and guacamole. You dip the carrots in the guac. Really tasty. Um, what else? Just fruit. Um, cucumber slices with hummus is something that I like. Toast with like avocado on it. Or... I don't know. I'm not very... I'm pretty boring. So that's pretty much most of what I eat. Um, unless I'm going out to eat. So anyway... This week was good. Um, about the blister issue, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. These shoes are in good shape. I mean, they should have a lot of miles left in them, so I don't necessarily want to run out and get new shoes. But this was only a five-mile run, and I got a blister, so I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be doing longer runs really soon, so I better figure that out. So I'll keep you updated. Um, oh, yeah, cross-training this week. I did weights. Um, I really would like to do pull-ups someday, a single pull-up, that's my dream. Um, so I've been working on that, and I also do the leg press machine, and I know that squats are better, but the squat racks are always super crowded, and so sometimes I just go with the leg press machine, or I just do squats without a bar. So for the next couple weeks, I'm just going to try to stick to this general schedule, do about 15 miles a week. And that's because um, my training plan is only 24 weeks and I'm now like 26 weeks out from the marathon. So I'm just trying to build up a base for now. And then official training will start like the first week of April. So yeah, that concludes week one. Um, not very exciting or eventful, but I know that if I just stick with it, it'll get better and better and I'll get closer and closer to my goal. So yay. All right. See ya. This is day one. Extra. There you go. Summer out. And she was getting a drink. Good dog. It snowed a little bit last night. Hello. I just started noticing this freckle on my nose in my peripheral vision. It's really annoying me. All right, I finished my long run for the week and I'm getting a slight blister. 